probably don't know this, but all of my videos that I've made, the thumbnails are made with Blender. Blender is a is a free software you can use 3D modeling for making things like thumbnails. Like, okay, look, look at this video. Look at that. That is made with Blender. Um, the link is, um, you can always download this. It's called Blender. Uh, link in the description to the site, if in case you're wondering. But today, I'll be teaching you how to use the Gregory Plays 570 on with Ragdoll's Blender Rig right here, right now. So, let's get straight into it. First of all, we know what a ragdoll looks like. So if we go, look at this. So let's take a look at our escaping with prison video. Uh, this video is a new one. At the time I recorded, it only has seven views, but we're it's gonna that's gonna change. And this video, we can see that ragdoll right there, right? Yeah. So let's open up a new Blender tab. right here and also my youtube intro is also made with blender green screen stuff like that so here we have our imported ragdoll uh let me just um go into material previews um here is our ragdoll it's pretty lifelike if you ask me the face is a little different i changed that up and you'll see that from the start it looks pretty good Yes, I made this myself. It's pretty simple. Now, let me show you how to um, pose this ragdoll. First of all, to move the, we have the head right here, right? They all are their own separate objects. Each bone is its own object, so you don't have to go into pose mode every time you want to change the pose. It's pretty simple. So basically, for if you want to move the head, click this bone right here. This little bone right here serves as the neck. And you can press R to rotate. You can rotate in any direction. G to grab. And if you want to rotate in a, in, a, in, a, in one um, in one specific way, you can do R X to rotate along the X axis. R Y to rotate along the Y axis. And RZ to rotate around the Z axis. You can also do RR, which will make it a sort of just. You can kind of do it however you want. And then you can also do. Well, if you want to know more into the rotating tips, go to um, a different video because this one is not. We're not. I'm not going to cover the basics of Blender. Blender. Now, if you want to move the upper body, we have this control here. We have. Um, Remember, you can rotate it, rotate the body, you could grab the body if you wanted to, and that's pretty simple, but we're not going to use grabbing, basically if you want to grab it, just press G, G is grab, although, there's in this whole rig, there's um only, you don't do any grabbing, okay, you just don't, then we uh, have the arms, to rotate the whole arm, just click this, click this one, the top, see there's two little spheres there. Um, click the top one and you can rotate it. Or you can grab it. That's the whole arm. Then we have to get the lower arm, you go to the one here, that that bone. Then we'll do rotate. You can rotate it and like something like this, maybe. You can go like into lots of different poses, but for now, we'll just leave it how it is. Then we have this control right here. This moves the whole rig, except for the, um, it moves all of the bones, basically. So, but it doesn't move, like, anything else, like Alt-G and stuff. But then we have the legs. To, move, to rotate the whole leg, we select that, or you can select that one at the bottom. Go. We can rotate it. You can grab it if you want. Same with the other leg. You can just you can rotate. 
road, you can do really whatever you want with it. Then, we have down here, these things on the side will control the lower leg. Here. See? Control the lower leg. And we have, we can, you can see that it, you can make for some really cool poses. And then the last two are, these are the controls for the feet. You could grab, if you want the feet to come off, I don't know. And remember, grab equals G, and R is rotate. To rotate, you press R. Pretty simple. Then we have this one moves the whole rig. So, that's pretty useful. Um, then we have... So, that's pretty much it. There's no facial features. Because ragdolls don't really move their face that much. And, uh... You can make for some pretty interesting pose. Poses. Like, we can make a walking pose right here. So there we, you can see we have a pretty simple walking. So, uh, that's pretty, like, it's a pose, I guess. Oh, yeah, actually we have one thing wrong. You may know this, but your, um, your leg, your left leg always is as, um, look. So I just gotta switch the legs out because the, the legs are always opposite to their arm, to their corresponding arms. So, that's pretty nice. And, uh, we can even animate them, if you wanted to. Uh, we'll just add in another ragdoll. And, the download link is gonna be in the description for people who would like this rig for their own projects. Uh, see, here we have, um, we can animate our ragdoll to, like, do a waving motion. I'll just fast forward it so you don't have to see the whole thing. All right, let's try it out. You see, you, you know, you can do a lot. We can, you can do a lot with this rig. I like it. You can do quite a lot with this rig. You just need to spend more time. That was just a very simple waving action. I like it a lot, but you can always add some more flair to it. Because, like, if I was actually making a project, I'd probably add a little... More to that, but just for the sake of the video. Now, say you don't want this ragdoll to be red. You don't want the color red or something. You want to change the color of our ragdoll. Click on the body part you want to change. Go down to um, material. Go down to this earth thing. I don't know what to call it. Oh, this is for Blender 2.8. If you do use an earlier version, then... Uh, that's probably just a shame, but click your object, go down to the second to the bottom, and then press base, and go to base color, and then do that, and then if you want to be, have a um, green ragdoll, you just do that, and do that to the, all the different body parts, we'll be right back with the green ragdoll. So there we go. We have our green rag doll. That's uh, oh, that's that arm's not the right shade. I'm sorry. This is the quickest way to change the color of the rag doll. You can see that the animation works just as well as if you didn't change it. So the default of this rig is red, but say if you, like if you don't like that color, you want to get a different color like this green rag doll, or if you want a different color. It's pretty simple. Base color, just change that. Uh, so, this rag doll, it's, like, the animation's gonna work just as well as it did before. It's just, the only thing that's changing is the color. If you wanted to change the eye color to, like, 
Like, if you wanted to, to have white body parts, although I prefer the rig comes with them as black, so if you want to keep them black, then I would recommend that because that's um, what well, worked out best with the um, rig. I t tested out a lot of different samples, but this was the best. Now, we can have a whole arsenal of ragdolls, just keep importing them and run them quite smooth smoothly, of course. Uh, I don't know why, but when you go to cycles, it just gets laggy, but probably because it, it, they, I usually keep it on EV for now. For the video, I don't want it to be as laggy, and of course you can always, uh, you can always do, um, more with the streak. You can add things on, you can give them weapons if you want, I think. Okay, look. Whoop. If you like, if you like this, if you like this rig, Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because if I get, if we can hit, uh, seven, if we can hit eight likes on today's video, I will make more Blender videos and tutorials like this because, um, I really enjoy making Blender videos. Uh, anyway, also, I would like to know what your opinion is on these rag dolls. If you have an opinion, go to the channel discussion. Give me your opinion. And also, tell me if you want me to upload more Blender tutorials and videos. Because, uh, you can make a lot with this rag doll rig. Anyway, if you like what you saw and you want to see more, make sure to leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you'll never miss another video. On that note, Bye!